Hello, good evening. I'm Jonathan Park. Around 200 people have been demonstrating in Cambridge against what they claim is the lack of government action in a mountain refugee crisis. The Prime Minister has said Britain will take in thousands fleeing the conflict in Syria. People here have been overwhelmed by an appeal for donations. A student house swamped by generosity. An online appeal brought in the first donation, a simple bar of soap. From there, a mountain of donations from people moved to help the refugee crisis in Calais. Slowly things started trickling in and then suddenly there was this like surge of emails, phone calls. I remember one day in particular my phone just didn't stop ringing <laughs> and we had people just turning up with bags and bags of stuff. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's, uh, the house is now pretty full. <laughs> A couple of miles away in the heart of Cambridge, people flocked to demonstrate about what they say is the government's lack of action in a mounting crisis. We have been a responsible country throughout the 20th century when we have welcomed migrants from across the world and we should be doing that nobly again and people here in Cambridge today are calling on this government for action. For many, the image of a Syrian toddler lying dead on a beach was the final wake-up call. It's really sad that it took, uh, you know, the image of a three-year-old boy being washed up ashore for us to, for the government to have to act. I've got children the same age and it breaks my heart, it absolutely breaks my heart to know that we've got so much equipment, we've got the boats, we've got the manpower, we've got the money, we could be there fishing these guys out of the sea and helping to find them places where they can survive, where they can live. You don't sit off in a boat in a situation where you know you are likely to die. If staying isn't worse. Back across town, this horde will be driven to Calais tomorrow. A tiny contribution in a humanitarian disaster that unfolds daily. Anna Todd, BBC Look East, Cambridge.